below. In this video, we will carry out the lack of fit test for confirmation of the linearity of the data, which we have previously confirmed by visual evaluation and also analysis of residuals plot. And here we are using the lack of fit test, which is F-test, and it is based on the analysis of residual variance. The calculated F value is found by dividing the mean sum of squares due to the lack of fit, which describes the systematic deviation of the model from the data, and it is divided by the mean sum of squares due to the error, which describes how much the data randomly deviates. The zero hypothesis of this test is that there is no lack of fit of the model, and the alternative hypothesis is that there is significant lack of fit of the model. And this zero hypothesis is rejected if the F calculated is higher than the F tabulated value. And if this should be the case, another calibration model or another concentration range should be used. The data that you see here is from the previous video, and we have seven concentration levels here, levels here from the original 11, because the points that deviated from the linearity are left out. And for each concentration, we have four parallel uh, measurements. And now we can start uh, by first uh, calculating the mean sum of squares due to the lack of fit of the model. And we start by finding out the average of these um, four parallel measurements for all concentration levels. And we also um, calculate for this calibration function the slope and also an intercept. And now we, with this, we can find the calculated signal value where we actually, this concentration, we uh, multiply by slope and add the intercept. And again, for all the concentration uh, levels. And now what we do is uh, based on the formula, of course, we find the difference between the mean signal and the calculated signal. And we uh, take, and also take it to the power of um, two. And now we can find the mean sum of, um, now we can find this uh, final part is where we take the sum of these differences uh, that were in the power of two, and we divided by n minus two. n is the number of the concentration levels that we have, and we also uh, multiply it with p, and p is the number of the parallel measurements uh, for each of these uh, concentration levels. And now we have the first component for calculating the F value. Uh, in order to find the mean sum of squares due to the error, we have to find the differences between each experimental signal and the each and, and the average signal for that concentration. And this for all of these experimental values. Um, and so we have here, so for all the parallel measurements and for all the concentration um, levels. And to find the mean sum of squares due to the error, now we get again, look at, looking at the formula, we, we will take the sum of all of these uh, measurements and we divide it by n times the p minus one. So like the formula here states. And now we actually have the two components that we need for the calculated um, F value. And uh, so we follow the, the formula and we divide 
uh, this mean sum of squares due to the lack of fit with the mean sum of squares due to the error. We here have the F tabulated, which is used, uh, which is calculated by using the the degrees of freedom for the de denominator and the numerator, and you see this um, here. And this is uh, these are used to find the tabulated value, and what we can see here is that. Uh, this tabulated value is also on the on the confidence uh, of the 95% confidence interval. And we see from here that the F calculated value is lower than the F tabulated, uh, which means that there is no significant lack of fit from the model and the data is linear.